Hey, how is it going, guys? I'm back, and I got something big. We did it. We got the 10 million. Not just 10 million, 12 million. So, yeah, this is my magnum opus run. Um, I'm excited to show it off. I'm very proud of this. And uh, let's get into it. So, if you notice there, my day one strategy is actually different. I'm on the uh, new patch, the um, Repo Chu Crow. And... Uh, the gun system is completely different now, I'm sure, I'm sure as you all know. And uh, on the first day, they always give you a gun that is like, uh, that's blue rarity, and they give you one that's just white rarity. And the one that's blue rarity costs 400, and getting 400 is kind of hard on the first day. So I have my special patented poly strategy for getting, um, for getting that 200 gun every day and getting enough bridge pieces to do what you need to do. So I planted my potato, and I also planted two random desert seeds, um, and I fully fertilized them both. The, the potatoes 48 cashews, and the desert seeds are six each, so they add up to 60 cashews. And then I'm gonna fully explore the desert and the plains, getting the berries uh, from each of the zones. The minimum amount of berries you can get from both of them is uh, two berries in each zone, so that adds up to 40. Um, which then makes the total 100 cashews and then you use a sunflower seed which is 300 and all that adds up to 400 which is exactly enough for um, for the, a gun and two bridge pieces for day two so that's what I like to do it's a little complicated it's a little hard to do um, it's, it's not it's pretty uh, RNG independent um, the only the only RNG is the sunflower, but if you explore fast enough, you should be able to get a sunflower. So that's not an issue most of the time. Um, but the only thing about it is that you do need a time capsule. So if you don't have a time capsule, then you know you're you're kind of SOL because you don't have you don't start with the desert seeds. I mean, maybe you could grow them throughout the day in some other way. I don't know. But yeah, this is my um, magnum opus, as I said earlier. This run. I grinded this past week for so many hours. I was losing my mind. And like the, the, the time I got this run, I was planning on grinding it out all night just because. And I like sat down, drank an energy drink, put my essential oil diffuser on. I was like, okay, let's get down to business. And then I, and then I got it like the next try. And then I couldn't sleep that night because of the energy drink, so. And then I immediately went to all social medias that I own and posted on this. And uh, here is another place where this run is a little weird. Normally, I would say um, you could watch my high score runs and, like, you know, try and try and apply what I do to your runs that you do whenever. But this run I, is extra weird. I have some strategies. Um, if you see my last video, I used the same carrot tractor strategy. But, um, but, uh... Also in my last video, I had trouble getting my trees, so I, I'm trying this whole different new setup here to um, try and get all the trees and get the megaton in like a in the proper order, so I'm able to do everything correctly. So what I'm doing is I am not taking any pupa items until I have all the trees I need. Um, so I'm gonna. Ideally, I'm gonna get a sprinkler tractor and a carrot tractor, and then go infinite on the carrot tractor to get. Um, nine mega trees, preferably apple or banana, and then I go look around all the pupas, and hopefully I get a megaton. And if I get a megaton, then the run's a go. If I don't, reset. Um, normally when I do a run and I reset, I reset like after, you know, like summer two when I'm done exploring and I know I didn't get my items. But now in this one, I had to like do some extra work, so it was a little extra disheartening to you know get the run and um get i mean get all the trees and then uh just have to quit out anyway because you didn't get the megaton and uh i don't i think in this run I, I i did make a bunch of mistakes i made a bunch of silly mistakes but overall i think it's pretty solid um with this strategy i'm using a lot of the items and um Farm animals I take don't really matter because I'm not really depending on them that much like I would if I was using nasal spray and pumpkin head. So I, I don't care. I just take whatever I think I would need at the time. And I do pause a lot like this because I look at my map and then what farm animals I have. 
I don't really have an explanation for every pause I do, but that's mostly the reason why I do that. It's not to like try and dodge bullets or anything. Um, horse is amazing. Horse is one of the few items that's actually really, really good for this. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't really need much. You just gotta kind of play well and get the. Um, get a. You need a couple items. Horse is a really good one to get, so I'd I'd say you probably need horse. Um, and also I am pretty uh, commonly a detractor of the day one rose, but in this run I had a cow and I got a turret in the desert, so I'd figured I'd plant. I'd plant the rose and let my desert take care of anything that tried to eat it, or try to eat it. So I'd have the rose grown for morning. I, I never really advise planting a rose on day one, just because it takes so long, and then you just gotta get lucky. I mean, like you're just you're just gambling on the fact uh, that you'll get a good upgrade, which you might not even. But uh, if you're able to do it like this, where you get a cow and a turret in the desert or in your time capsule, then go ahead and plant a rose when you get back from the desert. But you know that's a pretty uncommon thing to happen. And then, um, Sprinkler Tractor's not really my favorite tractor. I don't think it's, uh, very good. Yeah, I mean, its radius is so small, you can't really duplicate much. The best use it's gonna have for me until I get an apple or banana tree is to use it on, um, roses or any other special seeds. Because, uh, it, like, it has a good chance of dropping some flowers. That's pretty much it. Other than that, the Sprinkler Tractor's not really good. Um, I feel like it's supposed to be like a seed duplication type of tractor, but more often than not, it's just a way to, a way to get special seeds. And I did get really lucky on that first day, and I got a quad sunflower. That's going to speed up my exploration for the next few days a whole lot, because I basically don't have to farm, which is um, where the new system really has advantages over the old one. It's true that the guns I'm getting are significantly weaker than guns I would get on the old patch, but um, I don't have to farm at all. I have enough money to buy guns for the next X days, and I'm also getting stats, so that's improving my ability to farm and fight. And I also got pretty lucky with my gun on the first day. I got the Sriracha Soaker, which I think is probably, it's probably the best early game gun. It's good in every single zone. Um, it's single target damage is amazing, it's AoE is probably the best out of any gun, maybe besides the Biodegrader. It's just so good. It's my favorite gun for killing elites probably. I, I find that I never am able to kill elites quickly with any other gun besides this. On the first shrine, um... I found that I was having, I used to take all farming stuff because farming stats really good for the care tractor strat because it helps you charge your care tractor up. Um, but I found I wasn't able to kill stuff fast enough so I decided to just uh, take the hit and go for the, um, for the fighting stat. <clears throat> I feel like taking that hit you lose 20 seconds but you'll more than make that up with doing more damage and killing stuff faster. I think the Sriracha Soaker, people probably associate it as being best with like, being best in like the jungle, but I honestly think it's better in the, um, in the tundra. Just cause you're able to destroy the snowmen, uh, the snowflakes so easily, I think it's really good in the zone. And like, a lot of the times when you're fighting an elite snowman, they kinda like run away from you, and they're kinda hard to hit, so the DOT of the Sriracha Soaker is really nice for that, cause you're always doing the damage to them even while they're far away. And then it stacks so high, you just kill them so fast if you can get in there and hold it on them for a little bit. Oh, and I, I failed to mention that, uh, Water Chris gave me backup generator on the first day, which is absolutely amazing. If I hadn't planted that rose, this run wouldn't, have, wouldn't exist. A, a, a good way to explore quickly is to try and ignore as much as you can. Not necessarily camps, but um, enemies. 
like that wolf over there, I'm not gonna go out of my way to kill it because it might be a danger to me. It's it's in my interest to, you know, try and just avoid it and not to worry about it so I don't have to waste the time killing it. That's probably the best advice I can give for exploring fast. Um, it's a little hard, it takes some practice, but just try and ignore as much as possible and that's the pretty much the best piece of advice. There are some enemies that it's like, nah, definitely go out of your way to kill. Like, I think I go out of my way to kill every hornet in the plains just because they will hit you if you don't do that. And then the lizards in the jungle are really, really annoying. And then, um, there, there was um, some other changes besides the guns in the new patch, and besides the, the gun system and adding the new guns, there, there was a change to the um, scroll system in its entirety. The amount of scrolls you can carry is tied to your farming stat, so I pretty much just ignore scrolls the whole run basically. You can, I can only hold three right now, and there's probably like three or four camps per zone of the scrolls and I can't you know possibly use them all and I don't really need them so a lot of the time I just ignore them and then also there was a change that mole holes are always open I absolutely love that change my favorite change in probably any patch it, it just frees up your ability to go back and forth between your farm and the field it's awesome And then I, I'm, I've actually, uh, I've been sleeping on turrets a lot. I think this run opened up my eyes to turrets. They just free you, uh, they free up the ability to be out exploring while having stuff at your farm. Which is, I feel like it's pretty obvious. But before I wouldn't take them because I was like, ah, turrets don't make me any money. But they're just such quality of life things that you don't have to worry about your, your stuff dying. Or you don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta make sure all my stuff's grown before, um, before night so it doesn't get eight and I have to go back and get it. So turrets are really awesome and they're they're really good for growing roses while also being able to explore quickly which is kind of a hard thing you have to balance if you didn't take roses. And then take note this is where my Deerville Den is. That will come and bite me in the ass so hard later. Like I said I make I make a lot of mistakes this run and that Deerville Den is one of them. And then I always like to go back in the morning just so I like to go back through a mole hole just so I have easy access back to where I or at least close to where I was the day before and then grab my roses. Might as well plant some stuff make make some income at least. And then I think the Catlin gun's probably the second best early game gun. Um, it's just it's just good regardless of what its upgrades are. And in this uh, new gun system, you get way less upgrades at least early. So um, yeah, try and I tr I like to try and not be risky with what guns I take because there's guns like the Rusty SMG, which like basically require that you have the accuracy and range upgrade, or else it's like really really bad. So if there's a gun I see with two mods, um, and it's like the rusty SMG, I honestly won't even, I probably would take a, a Sriracha Soaker with no mods over that just because I know what I'm getting. With the Whereas with the rusty SMG, it's pretty much a toss of whether or not I'm just screwed and my run's dead. Um, when I was grinding for this, I found a lot more than that. Then what used to happen was my runs were dying to just getting bad guns and not being able to explore. Um, I don't know, it definitely, I definitely have like a love-hate relationship with the new system. I don't know. It's just, it's just sometimes kind of frustrating. And I, you're pretty much, the game pretty much chooses your gun for you on the first day. And that's like the most important day for exploring in my opinion. So it's just a little frustrating sometimes. And I also, I really, really, really don't like in the new system um, that heartbeat seeds can replace mods. That's horrible. Why would I ever want a heartbeat seed over uh, a mod? Um, it's like, in a way, it's kind of funny because it's like counterproductive because I'm less likely to get hit if I 
have a mod or have a mods to make my gun better. And then I was really far away from that pupa. I have no idea why that opened. That was kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I, that's my biggest problem with the uh, gun system. But otherwise, I don't I don't mind it that much. I'm not gonna be like, oh, this this system sucks. I still have fun with it. It's definitely different, and it's like less strong. But it definitely, I don't know. It made me feel like I was. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to describe what I, my feelings for it. Because I do acknowledge that the game has gotten really uh, a lot easier over the past every update since like Time Flies. I think Time Flies probably even made the game easier too. I don't really remember that long ago. Um, and this gun system is definitely giving gives you weaker guns than the old system. But like like I said, the game's gotten easier, so I think that's okay. I don't want the game to be baby mode. And also, there's the fact that I'm not I don't have to farm every day, um, which is really really nice. Like before, you you'd have to balance farming and exploring a lot more in in my experience. Um, now it's pretty much just scrape by, get like as much gold as you need for a good gun in the first couple days and then you kinda just hold off till you get a mega sunflower and then you're pretty much set for a while until things get going this is just my experience with the high scoring runs I'm obviously getting a lot of money after a certain point so money is really no object I'm not sure how it would be in like a normal run I haven't done very many normal runs um, in this patch I've played the new character a few times. I really like him. I think he's a whole lot of fun. And he's really different than all the other characters. And then on the new guns, um, I really, really like the scythe. I think the scythe is super fun. It's, it's kind of like um, the rusty SMG like I was talking about earlier where it, it, it kind of needs some upgrades to be really good, but it's still even good without them. It's just a strong gun, and then I um I put my I put my uh, banana tree down that I got. It was kind of a good thing that I opened that pupa early because it gave me a banana tree. Otherwise, I'd have nothing. So I can just use my sprinkler tractor on it for the rest of the game. But the leech, on the other hand, um. I don't know how I feel about the leech. I think it it's it's kind of not that good. I mean, the look and like sound of it and the whole design of it, I think are really really cool. I, the aesthetic is just so sick and like funny. But I just don't know if it's that good. Um I think it has like that reloading stipulation where you can only reload it by uh you know, uh, farming, and for having that weird, unique reload stipulation, it's not as strong as it should be, you know? If I have to go back to my farm to, like, like, I have to, if I have to go back to my farm two or three times every zone just to reload and take and waste a lot of time, I feel like it should be more overpowered than what it is. If you get, like, um, I think it's pretty serviceable if you get the extra leech mod, but, uh, yeah, otherwise it's not my favorite. Another thing about the new gun system that is kind of... I don't know how I feel about it is the new mods. Um, some of them are really good, but some of them just like load up the certain guns item or mod pools. Like for example, um, I, used to, I thought the Spud Rifle before was a pretty solid pick. All of its upgrades are pretty good. But now they, uh, there was that new fertilizer drop mod and it's kind of like okay I don't really care about my fertilizer drop from the gun I kind of just want to shoot and kill things it's my first priority I don't know guns like the Catalan gun I feel like I can get away with having that mod just because it's so solid by itself it doesn't really need it. it doesn't really need all the upgrades but I don't know for the sweat rifle kind of rubs me the wrong way But there's, I think the Sriracha over here got a plus 50% damage mod, which is so sick. Please more, 
Please more of that. Alright, that's just more reason I take the stretch so good everything else. I don't know where I would rate all the guns. Oh, that guy got me. I was just outplayed there. He had me in shambles. I tried to use my tunneler, my, my sprinkler tractor to get back home. And I've found, um, I got, I've been getting hit more consistently in, my, in these runs just because my guns are weaker, like I was saying earlier. I'm not really urgent urgent to uh, to plant anything just because I don't really have to. I have 2,500, which is more than enough to get all the rewards from the first season, and definitely more than enough to buy a gun. And then here I decide to buy another sprinkler tractor just so I can get um. <laughs> More banana trees and then marry my boy water Chris because you know I gotta marry my boy water Chris if you sleep on the farming spouses wake up They're sick marry them every time And uh, there's that bonus mod I If you noticed in the beginning, I only have uh, like 20 something cats I think it's because I, I recently spent all my cornucopias and upgraded my cats to the, uh, I think they're, I think it's a tier 5, the Yorkie looking cat, because that one gives the bonus gun mod, which I think is the, the best way to invest in your cats. I don't know if taking this gun was the best decision. The single target damage on the, I guess just the damage in general on the uh, biodegrader is pretty horrible. So it takes me a lot longer to kill stuff now. But I did get stats from it and I don't know. I don't know if I would have been much better off with the Catalan gun. And that roach was pretty sick. Yeah, he deserved that hit. And I can't move. Here's my third sprinkler check. Oh yeah, I started with um. This is the first run I've done where I started with uh. What are those items called? What are those items called? Extra tractor slot and fertilizer fuel converter. Those are just the two most important items for the carrot tractor shenanigans. So figured I'd start with them, so I don't have to worry about getting them. And also uh, dual tractor slots, a pupa upgrade, and I'm not taking my pupas. So that just makes my life 10 times easier. As to the future of um, like my channel, I don't really know what I'm gonna do because this I think this carrot tractor strategy is supposed to be being nerfed like really really soon. So, I don't think scores higher than this will really be possible. I could always like switch over to my Xbox um, when the update comes out. I'm assuming it doesn't have this patch when it when it comes to the Xbox, but uh yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do going forward. Um I don't really like just play this like sit down and do a run in this game. I kind of just, you know, sit down and try and grind some high scores. And if there's nowhere if I can't go any higher up than this, um, I don't think I'm gonna be, like, trying to get high scores anymore. I don't know, I'm not really sure, I haven't decided on what I'm gonna do yet. Like I said earlier, I'm just mostly ignoring the uh, scroll camps. I don't really care about the scrolls. I'm not going to use them. I, w I found I would use them a lot more in the last update because, like I said, I pretty much needed to farm every day. 
and they made that a lot easier. But now I don't need to farm any days, so I don't really care about them. Maybe if you were exploring at a slower pace, you'd be able to like most effectively use them, but... I'm not exploring at a slow pace. <laughs> These uh, crab guys have so much health. It's ridiculous. Um, they can actually tank two Megaton Blasts, which is almost as much as the freaking moon, which I think is hilarious. And the pupa, once I find the pupa of, of like the tier 2 zones, and the tier 1 zones I just clear them all. But in the tier 2 zones I, uh, I clear every camp till I find the pupa. And then I pretty much ignore, I ignore seed camps, pickaxe camps, and uh, um, dove uh, scroll camps. Just because I don't really care about the scrolls. And then I just so I can, you know. Get all the stuff I need and then leave. I don't really want to worry about the other stuff. Get the pupa. Find the pupa guy. Get all the crap I need and then leave. Before I was pretty like, oh, I got a full clear. Got to do it. I don't know why I was like that. Maybe I was like, oh, maybe I'll miss out on some rose seeds. But you don't really need that many roses anyway. Now my luck with this uh, tree is was horrible. I don't. I think I got like. I don't think the whole course of the game I got another, or at least till I was finished exploring. I don't think I got another banana tree. And I had two sprinkle tractors. And then I accidentally took the mole hole to the wrong place. I thought it would take me to the jungle, but then it's like you know what? While I'm here, I'll kill this guy. Cause I didn't kill him before. I like to, you know, like, I'm not taking the pupa, so why kill the guy right now? Why not kill it later? And I think, at least what I think, uh, like, what I tell myself is that my time later is a lot more valuable than it is right now. So I'm just going to kill him and get it out of the way don't, so I don't have to worry about it later. I don't think it would matter however you did it, but that's just what I chose to do. These guns are just lovely. So I'm just gonna stick with this, unfortunately. And tier 2 jungle. This is probably the hardest zone, in my opinion. Get right up in the cat's faces. Just blast this the crap out of them so you don't have to deal with them uh, I think what makes a gun good in the jungle is if it can kill the cats before they become a problem if it can kill the cats before they attack then it's a good jungle gun in my opinion so that's why stuff like the I don't think like I don't know some people might say the rest of the SMG is good in the jungle because like all oh, the piercing and the it's so good against the Venus fly traps but you can't kill the cats before they start attacking you so I don't think it's like the best thing in the world. And also, I got the carry tractor. I, I can't believe I didn't mention that. Uh, yeah, so right now I have um, the sprinkler tractor and the carry tractor and backup generator, which is pretty much everything I need for this run to function up until I open the pupas. And then when I open the pupas, I need the megaton. That's it. This strategy is uh, it's not as luck dependent as a lot of the other ones I do. When I was uh, when I was grinding it out before I came up with a new strategy, 
I pretty much thought that fertile eggs was required because in order to go infinite with the um, carrot tractor you need a nice fertilizer base so you're able to make the carrot tractor self-sustaining and there's really no easy way to do that besides um, avian placenta but I found a little workaround I'm pretty proud of this uh, yeah I like figured out a little way to work around it can pretty consistently and yeah I'm just like I don't know I'm like floored that I was able to get this run um, pretty much most of the I don't know there's not a lot out there about high scoring in this game so I feel like um, I figured out a lot of this for myself so like this is like my thing that I did so I'm pretty happy with it I think it's Pretty cool thing. Um, I did get the two. I did get some help from other people. Um, I'll shut them out now. Um, sh so shout out to Grizz and the Tomacrops Raw Fury Discord for telling me how to uh, maintain my time capsule between attempts. And then shout out to Ray, who's also in the Discord, who uh, told me about the. Um, about going infinite with the carrot tractor. <laughs> that is like the most important thing. So yeah, like, thank you. And then I don't, I missed the pupa. So I'm running around for it now. Luckily I found it pretty quick. And double luckily, the guy was right next to it. So let's kill this guy and move on to the last zone. Ideally, I'm done exploring by the end of today. That's summer two is normally my my goal day. Um, I don't think I've ever finished clearing on summer one. I don't even know if it's possible without duck wings. But yeah, like this is usually the pace I try to go for is clearing um, clearing by summer two and then getting down and dirty the whole rest of the game. So. Hope you like to look at my farm. You're gonna be seeing it for the next. Let's let's see. You're gonna be seeing it for the next uh, hour, nine minutes. Well, actually, not not quite, cause I still gotta do the tier two tundra. Nice. Oh, I got another banana tree. Not from this banana tree. Look at how insanely fast I'm going, this is like, hilarious. Look at this, this looks like it's sped up, this looks like this is doctored. Boom, faster. Pretty much, um, this is a race against the clock here. I'm trying to be as quick as possible and not be very thorough with my exploring. I, I really want to get that, uh, I just want to get that pupa and leave. That's really it. I don't really need anything else. Alright, pretty quick uh, and early pupa. Okay, now I gotta run across the entire zone, try and kill this guy before uh, my berserker mushroom wears off so I don't take a really long time to kill him like I did in the desert. And then, uh, this was, I don't know if this was a mistake or not, but, and that was kind of bull crap. Thank god it got blocked. But, uh, fighting a tree guardian in the middle of the unexplored. Tundra tier 2 is, is not fun. 
It was not easy. <laughs> Thank you, care tractor. I don't know why I'm dancing around grabbing the one fertilizer. Let's go. Okay, now exploring's done. Hunker down farming mode. There's not much I can really do on this first day. So I kind of just putz around. I finally got another banana tree. Um, I <clears throat> Ideally I would have had a quad by now. Because that's like a nice base for sprinkler spamming with the carrot tractor. But I didn't. So I'm going to have to, you know plant another one in the middle of my sprinkler spamming which is not ideal because I don't know my brain can't really pay attention to all those things at once but it is what it is it got us there didn't it From this point on, uh, I'm just going to take the gun that gives me, uh, what's it called? Farming stat, because I don't really need anything else at this point. And uh, notice I didn't take hotwire there. You're probably thinking to yourself, why would you not take hotwire? That's so good for tractor builds. And the reason for that is um, I'm dealing a lot with like tractor charges and recharging my tractor and stuff. So I don't want to accidentally use my tractor when I don't have a charge and hurt myself and lose 20 seconds. And then, earlier I was saying how you need a base for the carrot tractor to be able to do it. To, to, to be able to go infinite consistently. And normally I would use fertile eggs and avian placenta. But, there's this handy little rusty car camp over here with a big old group of enemies. So what I do is I lure them over to the bridge and I use them to start getting my carrot tractors rolling. And that's how I do this every day until the end of the run from this point on uh, the runs like pretty boring because it's, it's basically just this for the next two seasons so I don't know I don't really know if I'll have much to say the entire time even though I say that every time I record and then talk the entire time Yeah, and we're basically just, uh, the goal here is to, you know, be self-sustaining with the carrot tractor. So just get all these on my farm so they can drop fertilizer, charge yourself back up, and I can do this till the cows come home. And I got my other banana sapling, so I can plant that right now while also keeping these carrot tractors alive. This is kind of like high pressure because, um... Uh, you know, the care tractor, it goes dead like that, and then it, it stays like that for only a second, and then it disappears. So if I miss it once, I just, like, I'm screwed, and basically have to start all over. I'm not sure if the, I even let the bats live. Uh, so I think I would be SOL if I were to mess it up. So it's, like, a big deal that I don't mess it up, so... And, uh... One, another aspect of my strategy is that I didn't take um, any drones or items like sling because that would kill the bats and I needed the bats to be alive. So there's like a, there's like a lot of like weird, um, I don't know, weird little quirks to this strategy I guess which is why I don't think it would be as suitable for like, oh I want to get good at this game, I should follow what this guy does. No, I'm doing like weird crap. And then pay attention to the amount of fertilizer I have. I have like, you know, 4,500 right now. And just look at that when the when the run gets closer to being over. The results may surprise you.
Um, the goal here is to get uh, three rows of three banana trees. So that would be a total of 36 saplings. And I already have four down, so I only need uh, 32 saplings. So that's pretty much what I'm going for here. And as of right now, I only have 14. So I need to pick up the pace a little bit. Because the boss is about to come and get me. One really awesome thing about this strategy and this like exploit is that I'm completely invulnerable while the carrot tractor's are on the ground. I was like looking over some of my other runs earlier today and like there was, uh, I was watching my runs when the carrot, or not the carrot, the uh, the skulls were still around in the higher years and oh my god that was just frustrating to watch. I'm so glad those are gone. And then you can actually use your tractor while you're in the boss cutscene, so I just use it to keep my character tractors alive. And then I just completely ignore the boss and get back to what I was doing. And this is like, and this run's like extra crazy when compared to my last run, because in my last run, I think I started doing uh, the Carrot Tractor Megaton shenanigans, I think on Winter 1. So, and this run I'm doing it way earlier, way, way, way earlier. So I was able to get a lot more money, obviously. So yeah. I actually can't believe we made it to 10 million. It's just like shocking. I've been grinding this. I think I've been not grinding the entire time. Like I wasn't consistently grinding for it. My first um, high scoring video came out or I like released it. Uh, I want to say December 2019, I think. Um, no. December 2020? What was that? It was whenever the invasive species update, or update came out. I uh, I uploaded it sometime in that December, so I think it was last year. So, so 2020, yeah. And uh, I think that high score was like uh, what was it, two million or something? And now I was able to get to 12 million. The big eight digits, the one million cashews. That's it's pretty awesome. I'm very happy. And also, I'm very thankful for the people who, you know, watch my videos and comment. You guys are all very, very nice people, and I'm glad that uh, whenever I post a video, I can look forward to some nice words from you all. I appreciate you guys very, very, very much. I have enough uh, banana trees, so just let it die. And now is the time to go check my pupas for a megaton. My heart's racing right now. Um, a lot, a lot rides on this, on these pupas. So hopefully they got what I need. Horse is amazing. I'm so happy I got it. It just makes moving around so much easier. And I'm like, it's awesome that it doesn't go away when you use a tractor. Because, <laughs> like, from this point on, I basically don't... Actually, no. After, like, after tomorrow, I don't, like... I don't farm or shoot anymore. So, like... <laughs> I just always have horse, which is awesome. And just ignore that camp. I don't need it. Waste my time. Yes! 
There it is. Turret stakes. And then I really don't want to run next to the to the pod, have the item drop, and then just not be able to get it. So I just didn't. End of the season, what we got? 11,000. Pretty good pace, right? Just being careful to make sure I don't take any drones or anything. Because I don't want to kill those bats. I think this is the first documented, uh use of the rusty car camps i don't think anyone in the history of the world has ever like made them useful so i'm quite happy that you know we were able to do that here as well and bada boom there it is so things are not real take a second compose yourself deep breaths we're in the end game now just kidding. At first, I gotta get my farm set up. Notice how there is uh, not enough room to fit nine mega trees here. That's a bit of a problem. It's a good thing I got the megaton though. So the plan is to just go uh, go infinite with the carry tractor, and on this first day, just use it to um, uh, use it to make my plot a lot bigger. So I can plant all the trees. We're not quite in like farming mode yet. Or I guess megaton mode yet. I was like doing this. I guess I must have droned out the sound of the tractor being ready. But God, that is <laughs> that's gonna be grating to hear now that I noticed it. And now that I'm talking about it, you noticed noticed it too. We're in this together. But yeah, this is like like you know, this isn't very exciting for the rest of this. This is just we're pretty much getting the uh, getting the full experience right here with what's going on. Um, I'll picture this for two more, two whole seasons, but then picture it with nine banana trees. The most exciting thing is going to be looking at that number in the top left go up. And then I made it like a bit of a, you know, mistake putting all my carry tractors right there. I cannot see where I'm planting. So that's a bit of a problem, but I just let whatever, just go on with it. Making sure it's all lined up. And I was like, you know what, I can't see, just let these guys die. I did accidentally plant this row one spot over than I, than I should have. But that's okay, it doesn't really make a big difference. Planting these trees takes so long. 
know when I was doing this, I I noticed that uh, that doesn't look like it'll fit in a whole other row of mega trees up there, huh? So that's a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Yeah, and I'm, I'm out of pickaxes, so... And also, all the bats are dead, so I'm kind of screwed a little bit. Yeah, like I said earlier, I was uh, making a lot of mistakes. I've noticed, like, watching over my old videos or, like, putting them together, that I just, like, get a, uh, like, a phrase, and then it's, like, all I say. I'm pretty sure I've said the phrase, like I've said earlier, probably... Probably 10 times in this recording. So that's, the, I guess, the phrase for today. So you'll have to bear with me. It's my first run in a long time that's made it to, to fall. I haven't seen that enemy in ages. And I'm gonna not interact with him. He can stay not seen. I'm scrambling a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what to do. Um, so I, you know, I, the whole run, if you've noticed, I haven't taken any, uh, for, uh, like, I haven't taken very many, uh, tractor mushrooms. And I kind of just leave them on the ground for a little, for, like, emergencies, kind of. That's, like, the idea. Like, oh, no, I get a, uh, I, Okay, this is the old strategy, but in the old strategy, I'll leave them on the ground just in case I got a blood moon early, so I wouldn't have to end my whole run just because of a blood moon, and I could just go around and get all the mushrooms and nuke it. But yeah, um, looks like we're all set to go. Tomorrow is going to be the first big money day, and then <laughs> a new little strategy I did for the tractor thing is rebind my controls it's very hard on my i play with a, a switch pro controller and harvest is b which if you don't know is the button on the bottom and then you have to click the left stick to use the tractor and then press y to uh switch between your tractors and that's really hard to do especially like the holding b button aspect of it is like really really hard to do while doing all the other stuff so i decided i'm not going to be using my farm button anymore might as well switch that and my harvest button so I can just hold that down way easier. And it made my, yeah, I, I'm sure it made my life a lot easier and it made my hands very happy because my hands were hurting after the last time I did this. <laughs> and there I tried farming using my, uh, my newly bound uh, harvest button and I said earlier that the, the Deerville Den uh, to remember where it was because it would bite me in the butt I never remembered seeing it so I was looking around for it because I wanted to get reptilian solstice but um, I just could not remember for the life of me where it was and also which is, it's kind of funny if that pupa in the jungle hadn't opened, I probably would have walked by it, and, um, like, I would have walked, I would have had to walk to it to get the pupa item, so I would have walked by the Deerville Den, so that, that pupa opening kind of screwed me, but also, that was where I got my banana tree, so, I don't know, not that that banana tree was really helpful to me anyway. I'm surprised these guys chased me this far. It's like it's like hilarious. Um, 
Like when you fight a hermit can hermit crab can in the desert, they like love to run away from you and just be annoying. But when you accidentally like wake up their uh, the rusty car camp in the desert, they'll chase you to the ends of the earth. I swear they have different AI. So it begins. The Megaton tractor like barely has enough radius to fit nine trees like this. Um, so a lot of the times I was missing that tree in the top left. Well, that's okay. And also I didn't notice this the first day, but the tree in the bottom right and the tree in the top left are not fully fertilized, so I'm not getting the most amount of money out of them. It looks like on the tree in the top left, it was only like three bananas that weren't fertilized. Let's look at the bottom right. Um, looks like the bottom right one isn't fertilized. Oh, it's like barely fertilized. Just for a little math, uh, each banana, if it's fully fertilized, is worth 21 cashews. And each tree can hold a maximum of 10 bananas. So, some math, what is this, like, uh, 1,890... Um, cashews per per megaton blast if I hit them all and if they're all fully fertilized so do that <laughs> like uh, I don't even know yeah do that like uh, 500 times and there's your 10 million Yeah, 10, 10 million. It's so crazy. I just can't get over it. That's, this has like been my goal in this game for the past like half of a year. Um, I, I obviously really, really, really like this game. And like, I've just been trying to make excuses for myself to keep playing it. And like the, ch the chasing of the highest score possible was pretty much my motivation for playing this game. For, um, you know the past how long you know like I, I, I bet normal people who play this game probably don't stick around as long as I have because you know they get bored for whatever reason or just move on to another game but you know I love this game so much I had to stick around and do it and now I'm like I feel lost like I don't know what to do with myself I've done what I came here to do so I don't know what I'm gonna you know do moving forward I, I'd hate to let my you know channel sit here and go to waste just rot away so I don't think I'm gonna let that happen but I don't I don't know what the future holds and also um some of my megaton blasts aren't working right now and in the run a lot of this is a learning process while I'm doing it because I only ever get like one or two attempts in 30 hours of in 30 hours of grinding to be able to do stuff like this so I'm, I'm figuring out a lot of the things as I go I feel like this game is so much easier on paper than it is in practice. Like I'm like, oh yeah, obviously just get this, you get all the banana trees and on fall two it'll be so easy, you'll get thirty million score. But like in practice something goes wrong that you just can't have uh can't have uh anticipated. So you're just like fumbling to figure it out while also trying to keep the score going. So I was able to figure out that like all that fertilizer on the ground is like keeping the megaton from hitting the trees. So I have to go in there, run a circle around, and then use my megaton tractor to be able to actually get money from the trees. So now I know that going forward so I can avoid that. It's pretty annoying. Pretty, really interesting. Why that ha I wonder why that happened. It's hilarious that I'm just completely ignoring the enemies. We've hit 55,000 fertilizer. Since I was doing this over 5 days, to be on pace I need to get around 200,000 cashews a day to hit 10 million. 
And uh, I think in my head right now, I'm like, uh oh, I'm only at 170 something K. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, you know, every day and be able to get the amount of money I need. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like it surprised me with how much money you can make in such a short amount of time. Cause like 176k seems so far away from 200,000. Then you just do this a couple more times and you're basically there. Yeah, from like what 1,890 per blast, uh, per ideal blast. Um, do that twice per every five seconds with the carrot tractor. It's pretty much like 4,000 just right there inst instantly. Yeah, so I guess you would close that gap pretty quick. Let it die. Let's see how much we got. The first day of nuking. I noticed like, what the hell? Why are my bananas looking all sad? So I was like, oh, some of my guys aren't fertilized. Buy a turkey, just cause I can. Cause I'm crazy. Let's get back out there. I can't believe they weren't fertilized. Didn't seem like it cost me that much, but like, come on. I think uh, when they're unfertilized, they give you three less cashews, which isn't like a big deal at all. Taking the wide path. In the new patch, there's supposed to be a map icon for the Deerville Den. And I find that so funny because I could have used that so bad this run. I don't know, I've like from all from talking about this game so much in these runs, I don't know if I've ever talked about or asked um, what, what, what do you guys, in future content for this game, what would you guys want? I think for me personally, um, the reason why I don't really like sit down and play this game, uh, like casually, is because it, the runs kind of just take so long, and I'm, I've been able to explore so fast that I just usually am sitting around for two seasons. So if I think, uh, I think if I were to add any new content to this game, it would be like a alternate path um like a, maybe a way to go end a run early I've, I've said this i think in on the in the discord or on twitter i think a cool way to go about it would be uh um like going i assume i assume that corpse of copia is like an entity that spawned from the nuke that was dropped so i think it would be cool if you go to the nuke where he's like, like his house or whatever, and then you go fight him there. And I think the, it would be cool if the fight was like a, uh, a sort of farm off against them, where he's like in a little human form, and you guys both have your own farms, and like you farm and send crap over at each other. It just sounds so, I don't know, it sounds so involved that it probably would never happen in a thousand years. Another thing I think would be really cool is if each zone had like a, an alternate version. Like, I, I, I uh, asked people on Reddit this. Um, like, if each zone had an alternate version, what would you want it to be? Like, for example, oh, like, the planes become mountains and there's, like, goat enemies or whatever. And that would be really, really sick. And probably um, offer a lot of replayability. But, like, like the other thing I th think would be cool that would probably be really involved and never happen. Um, so, yeah, I'm interested to hear what you guys would like from future updates of the game. So... Uh, so feel free to let me know. Um, I love I love like uh, theory crafting and stuff about this game. I like I like talk about it all day and like the in the Discord. I just think it's so fun.
I know sometimes it may seem like I'm like, I say some like bitter things about the game where I was like, oh, that guy sucks or whatever, but it, it does genuinely come from a place of love. I obviously like this game a whole lot. Because <laughs> no sane person finds what I'm doing right now fun. This takes a psychopath. It's always scary getting grabbed by the uh, by the boss hole when you're trying to maintain this, cause like, oh, it, it, it just it sets you so far back if you mess up once. I I don't think I messed up at all over the course of this whole thing, which is really I'm really really happy about. Or, I, okay, I messed up like I made some poor decisions or whatever at some parts, but I didn't like screw up this specific character thing. Um. In my last run that I uploaded, which is pretty much the younger brother to this run, I messed it up so many times. So I'm glad I wasn't able to do it here. I also had uh, fertile eggs though, so I was able to get it back relatively easily. I don't know. I don't remember, I did that run so long ago. The time between that run being uploaded and actually done was really long for some reason. I like pictured in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get 10 million in like a week. There's no point in uploading that. This 8.9 little baby stuff. And then it took me like four months. This is, I'm giving Spore a little taste of his own medicine. Hey, what if I just didn't fight you? How does that feel? Huh? And notice today I put all my carry tractors to the side of the trees and that problem I was having is not happening. So I think I got to the root of it. Um, I was talking about this in my last video but I was saying like oh yeah 10 million would definitely be possible if I you know was able to do a seated run or I could just know what every camp does or like what every camp has where everything is and just get everything I need and stop but I feel like it just is so much more fun to have to figure out things on your toes and make decisions based on what's put in front of you at a moment's notice and not like planned out like obviously I have the you know general strategy planned out but I don't know like what each individual camp's gonna have you know where the pupa is stuff like that so I think I just think that adds a lot to it now I think my game's starting to lag because of so much fertilizer on the ground I don't know if it's like the, the megaton's not working from the fertilizer being on the ground or it's just like destroying my PC. It is like dropping frames a little bit. I bet it's Spore's fault somehow. And not the thousands of fertilizer dropping on the ground. Um, earlier today I was watching back over like my oldest runs. From when I still played on Xbox and like oh my god those were so oh my god look at that frame drop that's basically what the Xbox runs looked like it was crazy I can't believe I was able to do um like the rob robust of your 10 on console that stuff is like hard mode times two with all the um with like my frame drops my Xbox is like seven years old though so it's not like I'm like blaming the game or anything like that but it's just kind of funny to look back at. Twelve thousand bananas. Two hundred sixty-two thousand.
Don't want the cow turret tractors. I don't want you killing my bat friends. I was feeling a little lavish. I'll buy them all. I decided not to gamble my money away because I think it would be—I thought it would be cool to see the one million in the top left. Maybe use that for some sick clickbait action. If you clicked because you saw that one million, get owned. You fell right in my trap. Back on the hunt for the Deerville Den. The Deerville eludes me. I'm too much of a holy man. I was like, maybe it was there. And I like run in there for two seconds and I'm like, no thank you. No thank you. Ooh, flamingo friend, don't care. It must be so jarring to like just see. I'm used to it now, you know, because I'm a cold blooded high score getter. But just like seeing a pupa open and it being left on the ground must be painful. Supposedly, in the new patch that's coming out, or that came out, depending on when I post this, the the blue scrolls will no longer be in the uh, pupa pool. That's pretty sick. I'm very glad that change is happening. I think it's been a bit. I don't know. I, I've never really liked getting the scrolls in my pupa pool. I don't think I would mind as much if you, maybe you got like all four of them, or they like, or they weren't four times as likely to get as all the other people items. Maybe if they were all included in one chance thing, like you like let's say there's 45 pupa items, and there's 45 items, and then there's the four scrolls. Let's say the any individual scroll had like a one in you know 46 chance. And then it picked like the, uh, you know, random scroll from those. But since there's four scrolls in the pool, it kind of makes it so you're pretty much, if it, you're not guaranteed, but it really feels like you're guaranteed to get one each run. So I'm really, really thrilled that those aren't going to be in the pool anymore. And I imagine, <laughs> I imagine everyone else will feel the same way. It's been really really cool to see this game like grow into what it um, is now it was so different back uh, when it when it first not when it first came out I think I got it uh, I want to say June or July of 2020 and just like how much changes there's been like when I first got it there were only three characters and I think four tractors and now there's all this stuff. No flowers and stuff like that. Oh, another thing. Uh, I was talking about stuff I'd like to see for this game. If there would ever be a Doom and Bloom 2, that would make my life. Doom and Bloom is my favorite patch for this game. It was so fun. The flowers and energizing mechanics and all the new items are so sick. The idea of the carrot tractor itself is so strange. <laughs> Just like the big carrot on the stick motivating all your animals to work faster is just hilarious. 
even like your spouses. I don't know why does why does Water Chris get so excited when I put a carrot on the ground? I think if my girlfriend came up to me and just put a carrot on the stick on the ground, I, I don't know if I'd get that excited. I'd probably be like, what are you doing? And the carrot's like alive, too, which is kind of messed up. And he just like die. I don't know. It's just a uh, just interesting, I guess. I'll just I'll just end it here. It's interesting. Uh oh, we're getting a lag, lag time. And if uh, one thing is that if you, I just did it there. If you use the um, carrot tractor again before it goes in like it's death mode, um, it takes like even longer to go back into like it's death mode because it's like a combo type thing. I was trying to reduce lag here by like uh, keeping the carrot tractor alive and then like putting an, I don't even know what my thought process was. It was heat of the moment, okay? And then I got hit. Disastrous. Disastrous. Oh, I wonder where that Deerville could be. I wonder if it's in every zone besides the one it's actually in. Okay, I'm gonna run by it. Let's see if I miss it. I just... Oh my god. More looking time. Will he find it? Hmm, the Deerval Den wasn't in the bottom or the right. It wasn't anywhere on the very edge of the map. It must not be here. It's okay, there's only like a two fifths chance that Reptilian Solstice would have been there. So in my head cannon, uh, it wasn't there. If anyone wants to yoink this seed and go check for me, that'd be... Please don't, actually, because that would make me sad. And then, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm taking the guns with the farming stat. I think I'm actually, like, max on the farming stat. If you don't know, the max farming stat's 40, and, like, it doesn't increase at all from there. And, like, once you get 20 farming, once you get 20 of either stat, and then you get more after that, the amount of benefit you get from it decreases like a whole lot. This is like the max amount of scrolls you can carry. What is that? Actually, I don't know if this is the max amount. What is that? 5, 4, 2, is that 11? 11 scrolls is the max you can carry. Learn something new every day. It's crazy. I've been playing this game for probably like... 300 hours and then I'm still I still like learn new stuff about it every time I play It's like insane. I don't know why it's like so in-depth. This game's so sick Got about 300, 315,000 more cashews till we hit that one milli. The big, the big money.
<clears throat> the insane amount of sunflowers I have from using the sprinkler tractor on the uh, on the trees. I kind of um, the sprinkler tractor. I, I'm sure most people don't know this, but the sprinkler. I've probably talked about this a million times. But the sprinkler tractor used to uh, have a really big radius back way back in time flies. And then it was shrunk down in um, invasive species and it was made so that the sprinkler tractor could uh, give special seeds when used on trees. Or give random seeds when used on trees and all their special seeds. So that's why. I don't know, I, I kind of prefer the sprinkler tractor being a, a duplicator rather than a, another way to get sunflowers. I think sunflowers are a little too easy to get, maybe. Not that I'm, I shouldn't be complaining. I literally was carried by sunflowers this run. I feel like the new like gun system kind of encourages you being carried by sunflowers. Like the old system, whenever you got a quad sunflower, it was kind of just like a nice treat. Like, oh yeah, I get a better gun the next day, or the next few days, or whatever. But now it's kind of just like, sweet, I don't have to farm anymore for the next season. When like, farming is like half the game. And we got a tranquil moon, thank you game. Um... Gonna listen to this lovely relaxing music while I'm probably my heart beats 150 BPM and I'm sweating profusely and probably grunting like a maniac. Yeah, this uh tranquil music is awesome. And I okay, this is so awesome. Like the way the shader applied over the the night, the tranquil moon night, I love it so much. I don't know why. It reminds me of like real life night and it's just so sick. I wish every, the shader on every night was like this. I really, really like it. And, uh, it was so cool. On my last video I posted, Eunice, um, commented on it. And he's the guy who makes the music for the game. It was so awesome. It's like, what are you doing here watching little old me? So sick. If you're wondering why I don't like, I sometimes I've been getting a what's it called? I've been getting a jump start on my tractor and just not using it. I, I don't know. I just kind of like to keep things safe and consistent. I don't want to mess anything up and just screw the whole thing just because I was trying to get cute and greedy with a little extra megaton use. So I'm just playing it safe instead of risking everything on that. And I don't know why I used the tractor twice there. If I were to mess this up, I'd have to start all over. So now I'm waiting with bated breath. Okay, I didn't mess it up, thank the lord. I'd honestly rather use my tractor a little early than just miss the window entirely and have to start all over. So it's not that big of a loss when I accidentally use it too early. And oh yeah, I didn't, did I even mention that I, re I like let it die and just left all the fertilizer on the ground so I could reset it to keep my game from lagging? Um, I, was, I was like really, really like scared that my game would crash because that would be so horrible. I lose all this. We hit 900,000 cashews. Only 100. Only in quotes, 100,000 cashews away.
checking my score, see if we hit the 10 mil yet. We did not. Uh, I think we we're 500,000 away, so 50,000 cashews is all I have to make tomorrow, and the dream is a cheat. Whenever I like make out these goals for myself, I always like, I don't know. It's always surprising to see what the like, I don't, ugh, it's hard to explain. When you're like doing these runs, your score is always way higher than you think it would be. Yeah, I remember doing, I forget which one it was. I don't remember all the, my, the progression of my highest scores. I think there was one I got that was like, uh, it went like one and then 2.49 and then three. And then like, did it jump all the way to seven? I don't remember, but there was one like, holy crap, how did the score get so high? Yeah, so it's always like, it's always a nice surprise. I shouldn't have spoiled it for myself by looking. actually like struggling thinking of things to say I've been just watching this little farm girl nuke nine trees for the past half hour and so have you I don't know, it's kind of like refreshing in a way to have some runs that aren't built around farm animals and stuff. Because I was doing those attempts for like a really long time. Because I thought that was the way to go. It's kind of fun how it jumped back and forth between animals and hot wire. Megaton, but... Yeah, it's, it's fitting that it comes full circle back to hot wire and megaton. Just when you thought it was gone. And this, it's, this strategy has been around since Doom and Bloom, but... It just took so long for it to be found. I think, unless any update added stuff. It would have been a lot harder in, uh, before Feline Good. Oh, and also the Cat Shrines. Or, not the Cat Shrines, the new gun system. I don't know. I, don't, I, I really don't know whether or not this would have been higher score with or without the new gun system. Um, I don't know if I said this, but I do like the new gun system. I think it's more fun than the old one. I didn't like, you know, breaking guns and stuff. It's always jarring for new players, too, when your gun breaks every day. It's a little hostile, I think. Um, I don't know. So it's kind of nice to be able to keep it. I feel like a lot of people are under the impression that you have to, um, like buy a gun every day and like the prices scale too high because of that and it's like a bad thing that um like the prices get so high for the good guns 
I don't really feel that way. You don't have to buy a gun every day. There's been um, runs that I've been on where um, I just got like a good, really good Sriracha Soaker on day two and just kept it the whole time. I think the stats are a nice incentive to buy new guns, but they're not like, oh, you, if you don't buy new guns, you're screwed. So I kind of like, I kind, I like the new system. It's been growing on me. I was a little scared when it first came out that I wouldn't be able to get the score or explore nearly as fast because it was, you know, the guns were weaker. But it kind of balances out with uh, with um, the fact that you get, you have to farm a lot less. And also with the new system, you get a lot better gun on day two, because before, actually it depends on what your strategy was. Before I think I would use uh, the potato and the sunflower, so I'd only get one upgrade. So if I'm able to get consistently two upgrades, it's better, but <laughs> that's like a small positive <laughs> over uh, getting all the upgrades on the old system. And then over like, sometimes I would like, not necessarily waste, but I would use a Suboptimal tractor charge when there were megaton tractor charge when there were dudes eating my banana trees. Happened a couple times. I'm just completely ignoring the boss. He's kind of completely ignoring me for the most part, too. You don't want to stand there. I don't know what chunked them that hard. Probably a hog. Oh, I completely missed the 1 million cashy thing. I was like looking at it and telling myself I'm gonna pay attention to it, and then I missed it. Now we're at 100, or no, 1 million, 100,000. So crazy. I can't believe it. Oh man. I noticed my game was lagging, so I decided to reset it again. I don't know if this was the best idea with such a little time left in the day. And there's dudes eating your banana trees. First time I shot in I think a whole entire season. That might have been the first time I shot all season, I don't even know. Time's ticking down. We are done here. Not quite, but you know, pretty much. And, you know, that, that's pretty much the bulk of the run over. The rest of it is the corpse fight in surplus mode. Um, my setup for this surplus mode was a lot worse than my setup for the last surplus mode. Uh, because my field was a lot bigger in that run. Oh wait, 200, pretty much 250,000 on the last day. Do a little celebrate wiggling my leech. Who up wiggling they leech right now? With that 1 million, or no, 11,971,390 score. Before, corpse in surplus mode. I was just checking that. I was scared that the, the game would crash from all these bananas on the screen. So I was like, okay, this is proof that I got it. Now let me just do this just in case my game crashes. And then 697,666 cashews in one season. Oh man, so awesome. Okay, it's a little gratuitous, let's relax. Might as well buy these scrolls for, you know, surplus mode, why not? Not that one, I guess. And then this is probably the biggest number gamble you ever see. Oh, 
costs 70900 to gamble. That is insane. And I'm still left over with 46439 I'm still wiggling my leech. Buy some seed just because I can. And let's get into the finale. <laughs> and then I was trying to... I was trying to uh, harvest my trees but I accidentally started farming. So I got to switch back to the defaults. I'm super happy I ended up switching my controls. I don't think I would have been able to do it if I didn't do that. And then just playing your best scrolls. And then you just, this is a good tip for um, surplus mode, pre-plant your entire field with stuff and then uh, chip away at corpse very slowly and then, um, uh, you know, kill him by just a little bit. Uh, so you have as much of your field as possible going towards surplus mode. That's the best way to get your time up really high in surplus mode and get up the most cornucopia as possible. Um, to my knowledge, at least, I never had to farm cornucopias while surplus mode was a thing. I think I came into the feline good update with like 11,000 cornucopias just from high score attempts. But yeah, most of the interesting stuff, quote unquote interesting stuff, is over, and now we just got a pretty, pretty standard corpse fight. Um, but yeah, I know I said it earlier, but I really want to thank you guys for being so nice and stuff in the comments. It really drove me to like keep doing these. I probably would have stopped a long time ago, but seeing you guys be like, oh, yo, Paul uploaded, oh, whoa, thanks for recording these, man. It just, it just feels so awesome. I'm, I'm very happy that you guys enjoy the videos. I wasn't expecting the response I got at all. I don't even know what compelled me to upload one of my runs in the first place. Probably just because I saw that no, one, there was no, um, no other place that like had anything, and there's like no one else that documents high scoring. I, I find that crazy. You'd think that it'd be like a bigger thing. Every once in a while, you see like people do like, oh, here's how you do the daily to do high scores. But like, there's no one that does like, like highest scores possible. I just found that weird. All right, I just, I still find it weird. I guess the daily is like more accessible, and then you can also just look at the leaderboards for that really easily. Whereas, look at the leaderboards for the regular daily, you have to die. But yeah, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I, re I really, really, really appreciate you guys. And also, shout out to everyone in the Discord, you guys are very nice people. I enjoy talking to you. And then a uh, shout out to the developers of the game and the guys at Raw Fury. This is, I'm doing like a credit roll right now. Shout out to everyone. You guys are awesome. Kill this dude and let's get into it. This is nothing too crazy. I think it was more impressive when my field was the entire farm. But yeah. Lots of sunflowers. Hope you like bananas. If I was corpse and I saw how much how fat times pockets were, I would just turn around and go the other way. This dude would honestly show some respect to corpse for even showing up to my farm. Dude's an idiot. When did I get a when did I get aliens? When did that occur? No, oh, whatever. This is like such a small surplus mode compared to my uh, other ones. Look at that leech charge. I could wiggle it for so long with all that charge. 
Oh, and the surplus mode's dying. So I'm getting ready here to see the grand total. Get him. Alright. Thanks for the lovely fairy cat. But the grand total points for this run is 12,440,800. The first run, to my knowledge, to break the eight digit and the one million cashew mark. Amazing. Awesome. I'm very, very happy. And again, uh, thank all you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do going forward. I have nothing planned. In the meantime, let me be quiet and dance. Alright, take care guys. Thank you.